let's meet you guys then. Mabel, you've just had... Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello, beauty. You've just had your nails done and a quick trim, so... I'll introduce you to the other seven. My nail trims. This is Gilbert. He's a gorgeous boy. He's the muted boy. Living with two ladies, aren't you? You were living with one lady. And then you were living with two ladies for the last week. Yeah? So you have increased your harem. Harem? Harem? However you say it. Ignore Hugo in the background. Is it your hands? That's it. I prefer to have you set your hands on me so you're a bit more comfortable and natural. Yeah? So, Gilbert! He's a cheeky boy. He's a happy boy. And you do pulling the old Wilhelmina trick. You're pulling the old Wilhelmina trick, aren't you? Which is tuck up like a baby when they can't get you. Except, except, little man, I can. <laughs> so that's gorgeous Gilbert. Gorgeous, gorgeous Gilbert. Okay, don't adjust your screens. This is larger than life, Princess Lucy. She's an absolute doll. She's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, and she is one of Gilbert's ladies. Aren't you darling? You're Gilbert's long-term lady. Yes, you are. These guys, their nails aren't too bad because they're regularly clipped by their mum. And so really it's just a, a maintenance clip, isn't it? Yeah. Little um, Princess Lucy's got classic old lady nails, haven't you, darling? Flat feet and um, flat feet with the uh, claws sort of going this way and that way and a bit gnarled. So that makes it a bit more tricky to to clip, doesn't it? And you get the mega curly ones like this, which sometimes need a different set of clippers because good girl. Because they can be a bit tricky to access. But we've done alright, haven't we? I think we've done alright, girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know. One. Here you go, sweetie. And that, my friends, is Princess Lucy. <laughs> Okay, this is Serafina, and she's a gorgeous girl, aren't you, darling? Little old lady, she lost her friend about a week ago, so Serafina's the one who moved in with Gilbert and Princess Lucy. So, now Serafina has Bumblefoot, which I will photograph, but you can kind of see the swelling here. So she has Bumblefoot and uh, she's a little bit on this foot as well. So I'm going to rack my brains on um, treatment wise, um, best way to manage and cure it hopefully. But for now, I'll just do a very delicate little, little nail clip. It's a bit easier to keep on top of her nails because obviously checking Bumblefoot so often means you might as well do nails while you're there. Have this one, darling. Let's have this one. Good girl. Her Bumblefoot's not as high up on the pad on this foot, so her nails are not quite as affected. Good girl. You are so good, but she's a little old lady, aren't you, darling? You're a beautiful little old lady, and I will do what I can to work out some different bumblefoot ideas. 
Yeah. Okay, beauty. I'm just sit just there, sweetheart. Good girl. And we'll just do back nails just slightly. Again, we only need to take the tips off. I think it's good girl. You know when a pig has a, a yeah, an experienced owner and the owner of these ladies and Gilbert, obviously. Gilbert's not a lady. <laughs> the owner of these ladies is very experienced. But yeah, I think we can leave this. I don't think you need those ones doing. I don't think you need those doing, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. Are you telling me? I'll probably even up her haircut just a little bit. Um, just with the clippers, just smooth it out a little. But um, it's mostly fine. Gilbert's doing laps, so we'll take a quick break to celebrate the, uh, the fact that we've completed the nails of one group, plus Mabel. Yeah, with some um, popcorn and Gilbert, hopefully. Where's Gilbert? Where's Gilbert? He's not popcorning. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? You get the camera on him. Get the camera on him and they won't popcorn. At least was popcorning round. <laughs> right. Okay, let's introduce the black girlies then. Yeah? Can you not pop corn in now? But you're happy because you're all done. You and your girls are sorted for now. Is, bless her, she has a hormonal issue. So that explains, <laughs> that explains the hair issue, doesn't it darling? So she has all the behavioural signs, all the physical symptoms of a hormonal issue. And, um, just looks particularly pronounced because I think, I think you were either a Swiss or a Lunkaria, Lunkaria, aren't you? Or, well, you are, you still are, aren't you gorgeous? But she has bags of character, don't you? You've got bags of character and you've got a big voice. You live up to your name. You do. So, what? okay, sorry, back to where we were. Lost the video because... <laughs> ran out of space on my phone which sounds about right doesn't it so we're going to clip Aretha's nails hi sweetheart hi sweetie she's a little delicate one that you would think oh yeah we'll be super gentle super sweet super sweet and um and yeah she's a diva actually aren't you you're a bit of a diva yes so she's um she's getting a nail clip and i'm just going to trim her Remaining hair, bless her, ever so slightly. Just not enough to um, like even out with the, the bold patches, obviously. You don't want to do that. But just to make her look a little less Einstein y. Yeah. Ooh, what do we hear? The washing machine. You know what that means? Yes, Shrieker. Shrieky, Shrieky Pig. Shrieky, shrieky pig. Uh, yeah, that's, that washing machine is calling me to say, I've done another load of your laundry again. Yeah. And by that, referring to pig's laundry. <laughs> yes. You're okay. you got a bit of a sore on your back foot, so I'll put some cream on that later. You're fine. Little Miss Drama. Little Miss Drama. <laughs> Shrieker, aren't you? I did overclip one front one a dinty tiny bit, so I apologise, gorgeous. I am sorry, but it it's not the end of the world. It's not the big drama. So what we'll just quickly do is ignore the washing machine. Just pop you on here. This is where Mabel was. And then we'll just, <laughs> what we'll just do is just trim off the uh, 
I feel like the split ends really. I'm just tidy up the split ends a little bit and then we can see. That's gorgeous. You turn the split ends and we can see where you the condition of your coat and stuff, but yeah. Good girl. So there you go, there's Aretha. There's Aretha. And then we're going to see the other girls and figure out who's who. Yeah? That sound good? <laughs> good girl. Okay, this is Cleo. She's one of three black selves. Black selves or self blacks? No, I think it's black selves, isn't it? I think you're almost a black self anyway. She's got a few little bits in there of different colours and a little, a little smudge on her nose helps tell her apart from the other two. So we're going to look at nails, gorgeous. Yes, good girl. Okay, here we go, look. You're a little star. Yes, you are. You're a beauty, aren't you? You're a beauty. You are. Such a gentle girl. They're all absolutely gorgeous girls. I wouldn't expect any less. No. I'm just cut this one. That's it. Well done. Well done. We do have a bit of a soggy bottom, so we'll be clean, cleaning you up later and looking into that. Yeah, just make sure it's just a behavioural thing rather than that's it. Rather than a UTI. There you go, sweet pea. You are an absolute doll. <laughs> You're a doll. You are a beautiful girl. So that's Cleo. Now the other two. Okay. One of two black selves. They're pretty much identical. They're pretty much identical. But I think this is Finty. I think. And from what their mum has told me, I think Finty is Cleo and Mavra's mum. Aren't you, darling? Yeah. So we have a little, nice little family. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't you? You're so good. You're so good. Yes, you are. Okay, when a pig's used to having the nails clipped. I mean, sometimes they do. Sometimes you do kick off anyway. Hugo's a very good example of that. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure from that one. Yeah. There you go, gorgeous. So, I think you're Finty. And the differences that I'm going to go with, I'm thinking, are... Uh, you have a tiny hint of fungal nose stripes there. Just the tintiest, tiniest hint. And this isn't 
a long term uh, obvious thing but you have been trimmed there I think your dad said that you had a cyst drained so but obviously once your hair grows back um, that will be the same so we can't rely on that um, your ears yeah you have a tiny tiny little teeny tiny little little V out of your ear just there on your right ear I think and you, you are a bit I think you're on the smaller side yeah you're the smaller of the two which if you had babies when you were young you've got the it's slightly enlarged nipples as well that seem quite often to come with with former mum, well not former mums, but with mums, yeah. So maybe I'm thinking you're finty, and those are those are the ways we can tell you apart. Okay. Should we get Mavra? Should we get Mavra? Okay, and finally, da 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 da, da Mavra. And she's a little bit bigger. Yeah, you're definitely a bit bigger, aren't you, darling? A bit bigger. She has got a smidgen of a fungal nose stripe, but it's not as far up the nose as Finty. No. And she has a little bit of a memory tumour, it seems. I've come across quite a lot of these. It's definitely a, a mammary tumour. It's a bit of a funny feeling one as well. So we can mention that to your mum. Okay. Oh, and you have a couple of little, literally about four ginger hairs just by your nose. So that's how we tell that you're mad. And you also don't have the little V out of your ear. Your ears are perfect. Okay. That's how we're going to tell you apart. Mostly by the ears, I think. Mostly by the ears, I think. The ears are the least likely to change out of everything. Yeah. You've got foot spurs. We'll get your foot spur later. You'll get your foot spurs later, lovely. Yes, and you have matching one as well. I know, you've got matching one. You're very good at matchy-matchy foot spurs you piggies typically have one and you generally have one in the exact same place in the opposing yes I apologize for an overclip on that one I'm sorry I am sorry Poppet I'll make it up with treats in a bit and a clean cage even can get a clean cage today yeah you're gonna get a clean cage and some treat hay yeah Right, so that's these lovely eight, all trimmed. If I'd thought about it, I would have filmed Mabel as well, but um, just have to make do with looking at her beauty. And uh, yeah, so that's these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. So we'll see more of you later.